Today I will show you an easy and simple way of how to solve Hess's law problems and how to find delta H. Let's go ahead and look at our problems. It says from the enthalpies of reaction and we are given two equations, calculate delta H for the reaction and we're given the reaction at the bottom. Now the reaction at the bottom is the one for which we are trying to find its delta H. We know the delta H for the two top reactions. What we are supposed to do is we are supposed to find one molecule in our top reaction that is in common, that we have in common with the overall reaction that we're looking for, but that other step does not have. For example, if we look at carbon, we do not see it in the overall reaction, so we can reject it. Same thing for O2. Now, if we look at carbon monoxide, we see it in this equation, and we'll also see it in our overall reaction. However, we do not see it in the second step, so we are going to choose this molecule. We can see next that our CO2 has number 2 next to it. In the overall reaction, it does not. That means that our overall reaction has to be divided by 2 or multiplied by 1 half. Another thing that we can notice is that our CO here is on the product side, but in the overall reaction we're trying to do, it's on the reactant side, which means our reaction needs to be flipped. So we also have to invert it or flip it. Let's go ahead and flip and divide by 2 our reaction to see what we get. So we will get CO gas goes to C solid plus one half. Remember, I'm, um, I am dividing every coefficient by two, and I also invert the reaction. So CO divided by two is one, C divided by two, we got one also, and O2 will get one half next to it, and we have inverted it. Now let's take care of our delta H. On top, I wrote the rules for the delta H. If we invert the equation, we need to change the sign for delta H. Great, that means our sign must be positive since it is negative here. Now, if we multiply the equation by a number, we multiply delta H by that number. If we divide an equation by a number, we divide delta H by that number. We multiply the equation by one half or divided by two, whichever is easier for you. So I'm going to do one half of my delta H. Oops, this is plus, sorry, two, two, one point zero kilojoules. Let's call it delta H one. All right, our first equation is ready. Now we can continue to the second equation. Again, we use the same method. Let's find one molecule that is unique to this equation, but it has in common with the overall reaction. So this molecule would be CH3OH. You can see that the overall reaction also has CH3OH, but the top one did not have it. Let's see what the difference between the two is. We can see that here CH3OH gas has a two in front of it, and here does not. What does that mean? How do I make it into the overall reaction? Again, I have to multiply by one half. We can see that they are indeed on the same side. My CH3OH in this equation is on the product side and here's on the product side as well. Let's go ahead and do it. Again, when we multiply by one half, we're going to multiply each coefficient by one half. So we will get C solid, plus one half O2 gas plus two H2 gas goes to CH3 OH gas. Again, our delta H, let's call it delta H2, 
we keep the sign because we did not invert the reaction but we did multiply the equation by one half so we're going to multiply our delta h by one half as well one half times minus 402.4 kilojoules perfect now we can go ahead and check if indeed these two steps will give us the overall reaction we can check ourselves we can see that we have um, carbon solid on the product side here and on the reactant side here. So it will cancel when we add these two equations. We can also see that we have one half O2 on the product side here, reactant side here. That cancels as well. So what we get is CO gas plus 2H2 gas goes to CH3. OH gas. Great. Okay. That is actually our reaction. We just checked it. Look, we have CO gas, 2H2 gas, and CH3OH. Indeed, when we added our equations, we got the reaction that we wanted to get. Now, how do we calculate its delta H? Very simple. We just add up the delta H's that we ha have calculated from the steps. So, delta H of this reaction will be equal to delta H1 plus delta H2. I'm going to allow you to do the math on your own. I hope you found this helpful. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please like, subscribe, and be inspired about chemistry, and I will see you next video.